you're next, Leo. So this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Leo. Now I said general love. This is not a twin soul reading. However, if twin flame energy comes out, I will be sure to let you know. Um, some of the signs did have some twin flamey energy. So not all of them, but some of them. And this is a timeless read. So whenever you find this reading, Leo, it's for you. So, but we will be focusing on the energy of September. So let's dive right in, Leo. All right, I'm starting out with my oceanic tarot. So let's see what the tarot has to say for Leo. <clears throat> All right, Leo. Reading now for Leo. What are my beautiful fire sign Leos need to know about their love life in September? What do we have for Leo? Leo. My beautiful fiery signs. Leo. What do we have for Leo for September? Reading now for Leo for September. All right. What do we got for Leo? Three of Swords, Heartache. Cancer had this as well. I just got done doing Cancer's reading. That's the only reason I'm mentioning it because they had the exact same card. Oh my gosh, they also had this one too. <laughs> oh Lord. So sometimes people get Leo and Cancer energies mixed up because they're so close together. Like anytime the signs are close together. Um, I once heard a reader say, if, you know, the Leo read doesn't resonate with you or the Cancer read doesn't resonate with you, watch Leo's read um, and vice versa. Leo, if the Cancer, if the Leo read doesn't resonate with you, watch Cancer, you know, because, you know, usually the energy's on the cusp. And it seems to be true in this reading because Leo and Cancer got the same two cards to start off. So we have Three of Swords, Heartbreak, and Eight of Cups change. But Eight of Cups is letting go of something, anything that, and whatever it was, Leo, big hug. Um, you know, like, just like I said to Cancer, big hugs. Because letting go of anything in regards to the love department, and especially when you don't want to let go of it, you know, and it causes a type of heartbreak. It's always hard, right? And so, you know, I give you so much love. And you're very brave for letting go of whatever it is that was no longer serving you. So we have five of pentacles abandonment. So you may feel like you were abandoned by someone or someone might feel abandoned by you at this point. Okay, let's get some more cards. What is this in regards to spirit? What is this in regards to... Whoa, this is... Tell us more about these cards, please. For Leo. Tell us more about these cards for Leo, please. Three of Wands, Motivation. So everything happens for a reason, Leo, and, you know, maybe this connection that you thought was going somewhere is not going somewhere for a reason. Maybe it's to motivate you. It says three of wands motivation. So I don't know. I'm not, I don't know how it quite plays in yet. So I'm going to pull some more cards. But maybe like, for example, if you were to stay in a connection with this person, maybe you wouldn't have the motivation to focus on yourself, right? All I'm saying is everything happens for a reason. And we have three of cups and three of pentacles, recognition and reunion. Wow. So there is this heavy energy of 
third party. Now, I'm not saying that your person's cheating on you, Leo, or they're in a relationship with someone else. This is definitely not, we don't pick up on energy like that. Like, I don't, I don't channel like low vibrational stuff like that. So this could be, for instance, maybe they are, and you know, it's funny because I do watch a lot of Leo reads, um, not to be influenced, but you know, I'm a Leo, so I'm a Leo son. Um, I do have Scorpio in my chart, so I tend to gravitate towards the Leo Scorpio reads, but a lot of the, you know, the same energy is coming out for Leo and it's like third party energy. And to me, it feels very much like maybe either you or your person is somehow stuck in the energy of a past partner. So for example, they might have children with someone and their, you know, karmic partner from before that they had children with might still be heavy in their energy. They might be pulling on their energy somehow. Um, and there's many different ways that, you know, that can happen. So, you know, their partner might be needy or clingy or somehow they still have a hold on them. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a love hold. But what I noticed, because we do have three, right? We have three of pentacles and three of cups. Well, three of cups, this is the only card that I won't say represents a third party energy because this is a three of cups and it says reunion. So this is the card of celebrating. It's the card of like, you know, having fun. Um, it can be the card of like uh, celebrating marriages and things like that. And it says reunion. So if you are not in contact with your person, there's a good possibility that you will be in contact with them soon because we do have reunion and it came out with recognition. So maybe they're beginning to recognize that this karmic has a pull on them, right? There's a lot of threes here. There's motivation and there's recognition. And these are both threes. We have three of wands, three of pentacles. So this is an energy card. Maybe they're beginning to realize that this person is pulling on their energy and they need to break free. Or maybe you need to realize that, Leo. It's a recognition of something. Maybe they're recognizing that you are their person. I don't know. I'm not quite sure how this is working out. So let's pull some more cards on this and get some clarification. All right, what else do we got for Leo? Can we get some clarification for Leo on all of these threes? this reunion card we have four of wands reward so the four of wands is about you know creating stability in your life but it's also creating stability with your partner you know the four of wands is um i like to call it my four pillar card because it's the four pillars of stability it's especially in a love reading it usually represents marriage or creating a stable foundation with you and your person So whatever the case, Leo, I feel like they're beginning to recognize that they want to create this stable environment with you. They want to create a home with you. And for some of you, they definitely do want to marry you. They recognize you as their counterpart. Wow. See, two of pentacles, this flew out. Anytime there's two, this is a number of like divine partnership. Um, it could be a twin flame connection. Anytime there's two like this. Um, it's options. Okay, let's get some more cards for Leo for clarification. What else does Leo need to know, please? What else does Leo need to know? The Queen of the Ocean. So this is the Empress card. It's again, it's number three. There's lots of threes here. So three is the number of the ascended masters. So there is very heavy energy of like spiritual leadership. So either you or your person or like a spiritual leader, they people trust them or trust you, right, Leo, 
to guide them in their spiritual journey. Like they, you, they see you or your person as like a spiritual guide, like a counselor, like a, a spiritual leader, right? This could be one or both of you. Um, the Empress represents, it says abundance, but in a love reading, it represents like a really strong attraction, Leo. So your person does see you as a seductress. They see you as someone who's very, very sexy and they're very attracted to you. You know, the Empress represents seduction and this energy of like this beautiful, seductive, attractive, um, fire type female right someone who's um very very sexy right <clears throat> so you're embodying this energy leo on a daily basis whether they notice that or not <laughs> you just are and i feel like if they don't notice it you're gonna have other options because this card came out two of pentacles options so if they're not an option, they could be an option soon. Um, or you'll have other options. I don't know. I guess that's up to you, Leo. Let's get a few more cards for Leo. We have Ace of Swords, Victory. Boom. So if you're wanting something to come out of this, Leo, um, I feel like it, it definitely it definitely could come. Something good could come out of this. You got Victory. So you know, Ace of Swords is about some kind of clarity coming through. So either you or your person comes to a realization and there's a victory some somehow here, you know, with this person. If you want a victory with this person, then the answer is yes. <laughs> victory achieved. Okay. And let's get one more card for Leo. What's the final outcome for these two? What's the final outcome for these two beautiful souls? Leo and the person on Leo's mind. What is the final outcome for them? King of Wands, practicality. So someone making a decision um, to come forward. King of Wands is a fire energy. So, you, so some of you Leos could be dealing with another fire sign, which would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Either way, so this is this is a twin flame card as well. So because we have any time I see the two seahorses, the seahorses represent twin flames to me. So you could very well be dealing with the twin flame as well, Leo. Um, you only have one twin flame card. Well, I think there might have been two. Here's another one. So this could be a twin flame connection. Um, there's not enough cards for me to definitely be like, yes, right. I don't think there was any more twos. Let me just check and make sure for you. No. Okay. But there definitely has to be some sort of clarification because this energy of heartbreak and all of that and letting go you know, ironically, sometimes when we let go of things that we really want, Leo, they'll come back. But they have to have that that time and that space to miss you. You know what I'm saying? They always say if you love something, let it go. And if it comes back, it's yours. So maybe they just need that time and space away so they can get this clarification, right? Maybe they're weighing their options. But at the end of all of that, it says victory. They weighed their options. And this is the card of coming forward with an offer, right? You know, because look, there's the seahorse. The king of wands is about action. And it's about, you know, quick action. And it's about divinely guided action. And it says practicality. So, you know, they, they're thinking about this logically right and they're thinking about it in a practical way and it just makes sense to them it just makes sense that this would be the next um step so to speak and like i said the seahorses is the twin flame card because seahorses mate for life so final outcome is i think someone's going to reach out okay all right so let's Let's do some Romance Angels cards and see what your Romance Angels have to say about this connection, Leo. 
What do the romance angels have to say to Leo about this connection? What do the romance angels have to say to Leo about this beautiful connection? What do the romance angels have to say to Leo? Thank you for allowing me to the player's channel for source messages. I cannot shuffle. I'm getting tired. I've channeled all the way from Aries to Leo. So I'm getting, I'm going to do one more, probably Virgo, and then I'm going to call it a night because I'm getting exhausted. So much channeling and not enough intake. I'm drinking water. I ate and took a little break, and yet I'm still feeling really drained now. I'm starting to feel drained. Okay, what do we got for Leo? What are the romance angels? Deception. Someone's wearing a false mask. So see, someone wasn't honest about how they felt. Whether this is you or your person, someone was not honest about how they felt in this connection, Leo. What else do we have for Leo? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So... The romance angels are saying, don't give up quite yet. Don't give up, Leo, on this connection. There's still something there, okay? Look, two angels. You deserve love. You are lovable, Leo. My beautiful Leo, my fighters, my fire signs, um... My brave warriors, my rainbow warriors, you deserve love. I know sometimes Leos with, you know, such big hearts, we tend to love everyone else, but we have trouble loving ourselves, right? And you deserve love. The universe is saying you are lovable and desirable, Leo. Look, this is the energy of Artemis. She's the huntress. And she was a very seductive, beautiful goddess. And men flocked all over her. <clears throat> this is your energy, Leo. The, the empress. Your person sees you as a huntress. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So <clears throat> don't be afraid to speak positive affirmations into your life about your love life, Leo. Because you deserve it. So in this card, too, someone definitely has their eye on you, Leo. They've made their decision about where they want their arrow to shoot, and it's right at your heart. I keep hearing straight shot Cupid's arrow shot through the heart. That song shot through the heart, but you're too late. You give love a bad name. I don't know, Leo. <laughs> All right, let's do your spirit messages. What are the messages from spirit for Leo in regards to this connection, please? What are the messages for Leo in regards to this connection, please? After this, we'll do your career part and then... We will end with a final message of what spirit guide is aiding you in your connection, okay? We have movement meditation, number 32. Celebrate and honor your physical body through dance and movement. So it's time to move any stuck energy, my beautiful Leos. Move your gorgeous, fiery bodies. Move that sacral energy out. You know, move your hips, sway your hips. You know, Leos are known for being extremely seductive and fiery and passionate. Let that passion come out. Move your body. Um, you know, it's going to help move some of that stagnant energy out. And, you know, it'll also make you feel really sexy, which will draw your person into you like a fucking magnet. All right. So number 32, if you add it up, it's five. So in order to create change, which is number five represents change, we need to move that beautiful body, Leo. Air elemental. So um, this is, some of you could be dealing with an air sign. Um, you or your person could have some issues with the root chakra, which is fear. You know, fear of 
you know, fear of failure, fear, fear of rejection, anything like that. Red also represents passion. So I feel like there's a lot of passion here between you and this person. I embrace the element of error and I'm open to all knowledge and wisdom. So open yourself up to your higher self guidance and allow that to guide you straight into your union, Leo. Your higher self, which is you, which is an aspect of you, knows all of the answers that you seek. You just have to trust the guidance. I'm hearing chakra, um, crown chakra activations. So you might be getting a lot of downloads in regards to this connection as well. You're seeing things from a higher perspective. 10, sacral chakra. I just said this about moving your sacral chakra. So number 18, if you add it up, 8 and 1 is 9. So you also have some abundance coming in, Leo. I don't know what that has to do with love, but... <laughs> It's possible you'll have a lot of options in love as well. All right. So 10, sacral chakra. I feel comfortable in my own body and I'm sensitive to other people's feelings. So this is about being comfortable in your own skin, loving your beautiful, sexy body, Leo, as it is right now. Whether you're thicky, whether you're thinny, whether you're skinny, whether you're muscular, it doesn't matter whether you're overweight, love yourself right now. Because I guarantee you, your person sees you as the empress. They see you as this um, very seductive, huntress, goddess-like energy. Whether you're masculine or feminine, they're very attracted to you. It doesn't matter. They see you as sexy, seductive, and they're attracted to you. So see yourself like that because you are like that. Number 10 is also the number of new beginnings. So it's possible this new beginning is coming in with this person. All right, we're going to do one more card and we're going to be done. So move that sacral chakra at day's end rest. I find peace in nature and rest my body and mind in order to connect to spirit. So this is number 40. So again, we have number four, which is the number of angel guidance. So this is a divinely guided connection. Um, the angels are leading you together, my beautiful Leo. And, you know, either one or both of you are extremely powerful. The cat represents magic and power. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do your career. And we're going to end shortly. All right. What do you got for Leo for career, please? What do we have for Leo for career? Two cards for Leo for career, please. What is going on with my Leo's finances? Sorry for any background noise. My little guy fell asleep and is napping, but my other two are still awake. Leo, what do we got for Leo? It's kind of hot in here. We have blackout distractions. So it's time to find some space for you, Leo. Maybe take a social media break. I don't know. Whatever it is that you need to do. <clears throat> it says give your life purpose and other priorities undivided attention. You know, take charge of your schedule and don't let anything distract you from what's important. So, and I feel like you're doing that. Stay focused. Block out all distractions and anything that will possibly keep you from your dreams. Keep going, Leo. I feel like this is exactly what you're doing is blocking out distractions. <clears throat> and we have savings. So this is about saving for your future. Putting aside a little bit here and there. They said it's part of your self-care routine and it helps you to feel secure as you focus upon your life purpose. So you do your future self a, you know, a big, huge um, act of self-love <clears throat> and you're giving yourself a favor by um, saving for your future. 
<clears throat> all right, I feel like Leos have a tendency to overspend all the time anyways. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, there goes my throat chakra again. I've also been doing lots of talking and channeling, so probably need to take a break. All right, so let's go ahead and do your last offender card, Leo. Let's see what spirit guide is helping you in your union <clears throat> with this person. What is the last and final card we have for Leo, please? I really want to do Virgo, but I don't know if I'm going to have the energy. Let's hope. <clears throat> okay. Leo, what do we have for Leo? The Metal King. Wow. So number 37. 7 and 3 added up, and it's 10. So again, we have the energy of a new beginning with this person <clears throat> or a new beginning in general in regards to your love life. So the Metal King is all about discipline, armor, and putting up boundaries. So Leo, where do you need to bring more um, discipline in regards to your love life? Where do you need to bring... Um, a feeling of protection and armor. Are you holding too tightly onto your heart? Are you hiding your hearts? Are you putting armor around your heart? Be careful, Leo. Make sure that you're remaining open to everything that the universe is bringing your way. Even if, you know, <clears throat> it's not your person, the universe brings us people to teach us lessons in love so that when we do get our person, um, we will know, you know, how to respond accordingly, right? Where do you need to set up boundaries, Leo, right? Where do your boundaries need to be stronger? These are all good questions to ask yourself. Moving forward in this new beginning with this person, <clears throat> where can you set up healthy boundaries? Excuse me. <clears throat> Jeez. Okay. <clears throat> in one second. <clears throat> okay, pardon me, Leo. Again, um, seem to be struggling with some throat chakra issues. As I know most of the collective is, we're going through a sort of a, a collective um, throat chakra healing in order to learn to speak our truth. You know, now that we're in the thick of our missions, right? So where do we need to use discipline in regards to our love life? Um, for example, are, do you find yourself thinking too much of about love or thinking too much of this person. When we do things like that, it has a tendency to, you know, have the same effect as if like you're constantly calling them or texting them and they sort of feel this needy type energy and they think that you want them to fill your cup when really you're supposed to be filling your own cup, Leo, right? So... Either way, this person finds you absolutely delicious. So you just need to set up some strong boundaries when they come forward. Like I said, you got two twin flame cards. So it's very possible that you are dealing with the twin flame connection. And this person is your person, Leo. So set up some strong boundaries. Use some discipline and discipline your thoughts. Make sure that you have armor around your heart, but not too much armor. Um, just enough so that you feel safe and comfortable, my beautiful Leo, and allow yourself to be loved by this person. All right, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please thumb up the video, subscribe, and um, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me. And if you'd like to book a reading with me, my beautiful Leo, all my um, information is in the description box. Just click on the little Goldie app link. All right, love you, Leo. Bye.